Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. Okay guys, my Vernon Cuter coming to you again with today's uh, last fight for today. And as you saw, this comes from my bro, my good friend, my bro from another mother, Ziploc Gory. Yeah, he put this fight together when he gave me three SNK badasses against the Trinity. And I'm doing the last one. And uh, he pits Superman versus... Orochi yes yeah like I said um, this was a fight that he put again so we got DC versus SNK um, and for all those who don't know who Orochi is I will inform you on who this guy is and why he is a matchup for the Man of Steel but of course we'll kick it off with Superman of course um, everybody should know who Superman is I mean there's no question of where this guy stands um he is the first super powered hero of comic history not the first hero but first super powered he is the last son of krypton his planet was destroyed and he was raised on earth uh by martha and jonathan kent they taught him the ways of you know life and things like that to use his abilities you know right right righteous you know he is pretty much a walking solar battery he gets his powers from the yellow sunlight and with those powers he has the ability to fly he has invulnerability heat vision everything all his senses are heightened um and as of right now in terms of his strength wise in the new 52 they still have never really uh estimated how strong he really is from his pre-52 strength wise but he's still strong it's not it's not saying he's not strong um i for me guys i like his new costume i like the 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 science the sci-fi the the science fiction fiction aspect of it so i i don't mind the way he looks now um as well as I like how it comes on, like nanotechnology, but he's still a founding member of the Justice League, and, you know, you still got to give Superman a lot of credit, no matter what, even if you don't like him, you still give him credit where credit is due. So we move on to SNK, uh, the SNK universe, and this guy right here, guys, I'm going to tell you about right now, and his name is Orochi. Oh, boy, okay, Orochi first appeared in... Uh, King of Fighters 97 um, He was the final boss in that game and if you thought Bison and Akuma were badasses there they are but Orochi Makes both of those guys look like welfare cases. Let's put it like that um, He is of he's a spirit of divine power mystical power so magic is involved in this guy he is the embodiment of, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, um, he looks at, regards of his personality in terms of humanity, he looks at us, I mean, humanity as almost pieces, pieces of garbage, like, we, we don't deserve to live on earth because of the sins that we commit and everything like that, um, let me just give you a gist of what Orochi, his powers are, okay, he has telepathy, so that meaning he could talk to people in their mind. He can control them. He has telekinesis. He can, he ha he can te teleport himself. He can possess people. He has, he can project energy beams. He he heals fast. He he renegades. He can, he can penetrate an enemy's soul and destroy it. Uh, he can, he has pyrokinesis. He has electrokinesis, geokinesis, superhuman strength. I, I, he, he has so many different powers 
it's really funny that this guy is a boss in SNK in King of Fighters when he he sounds like something out of DBZ and that's pretty much where his power set pretty much is like like a DBZ character um, so he is a matchup for Superman and a point where he probably he will take Superman to the limit this guy I've seen in games just just dominate some people in uh, I played King of Fighters 97 twice in my lifetime and getting to that guy he beat me both times um, he is not an easy adversary and he, he looks badass I mean he is so badass looking uh, you know he's got the markings all over his body you know those tattoos but just the, the gist of what this guy can do is is scary very scary indeed and his personality of regards of humanity just is shocking even more so that's just the gist of it if you want to know more research this guy and, and I'll tell you right now you you'll see what I'm talking about but in terms of a battle between these guys this is a bloody battle this is gonna be bloody. this is gonna push soups to the limit uh, you think dark side and uh, um, uh, Doomsday and Mongo push Superman to the limit Orochi's gonna do the same thing and just the fact of his mystical origin and if anything Superman can do he can do so it's definitely gonna push Superman to the Orochi's gonna look at Superman as a being yeah okay he's gonna look maybe look at Superman as a worthy opponent but he's still gonna look uh, down on Superman like you protect these people when with all your abilities and he's he's just he's not gonna have it with Superman he's just like okay tr like a traitor he's gonna look at you traitor you should be doing this instead of that and it's gonna be bloody it's gonna be very bloody so I'm giving this sorry Superman fans to Orochi but I leave it up to you Superman or Orochi and other than that guys I want you to show some love and respect to Ziploc Gory that's my boy that's my bro um, I would do a fight for him no question asked uh, you guys all know how my relationship with Ziploc Gory and Deadpool Zilla and people like that are so no question asked but show some love and respect to him this was his creation I'm just the guy to deliver it and uh, as you guys know that's it guys that's the last fight for today I will be back tomorrow with two more fights uh, one including my favorite webhead and another create uh, another uh, request fight. But other than that, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real. As always, you know the slogan, guys battle on.